discussing what the best possible scenario is for President Donald J. Trump in the 2020 presidential election. So, before we start off, let me just fill in all the safe Democratic states, the ones we know 100% are going blue. Let me fill those in, get those out of the way. So, here are all the states that are 100% going blue. Let me fill in all the red ones. The ones we know, just to get that done. Through Nebraska, these. So there are many different possible scenarios that either we, we really have no idea about this election cycle. So many different polls have been up and down. And really, these this election could go either way. I can see a very tight race that ends up being a 270 to 268 election win for either candidate. Or I can see either candidate getting above 300 electoral votes. I could see it going either way. So here are all the states that we know have a 100% chance of voting a certain way. So you see all the states that are not filled in are states that I, so a lot of these we do know or we are almost certain that they're going to vote one way. Example, Texas. Texas, we all believe, will be going red, even though some polls are showing a somewhat tight election here. But, you know, it, it's not considered a safe state anymore. Same thing with Georgia. And... You know, Utah should be considered a safe state. Just one poll showed that Biden and Trump neck and neck. Um, so for that reason, you know, I know it's just one poll, very small sample margin, but I'm not considering it absolute 100% safe anymore. So here, let's fill in all of the states now that we think are almost certainly going to be going red. So there you have Texas, Georgia, and uh, yeah, so there, that's Utah. These are states that have, I, I'm, I'm positive, I'm almost positive will be going red. Um, so that would be Maine's second district. And here, so let's go in and fill in all of the traditional toss-up states. So for the, in this election, you have Six toss-up states, you have Arizona, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Florida. And those are all states Trump won in 2016. So, of course, he can win those again. You know, these are toss-up states, so it means that they can go either way. So now we have the remaining states, Nevada, Colorado, New Mexico, Iowa, Minnesota, Ohio, Virginia, New Hampshire. So... Here, let's. I'm going to go state by state. So here you have Ohio. Ohio has predicted the election winner for the last six decades. However, Ohio voted was how the election voted for the last six decades. Obama won it both times. Bill Clinton won it. Uh, Bush won it. Uh, Trump won it. So there's a trend, and Trump won it in 2016. And, you know, while some polls have indicated that it is close, it has been moving more and more slowly to the right. So, uh, and Trump won it in 2016. Obviously, he can very easily do that again. As you see here, Trump is well over the 270 margin. These are not my predictions. These are me just stating his base best case scenario. That if everything goes absolutely right and your economy completely rebounds, what the best case for him can be. So now I want to take you to Iowa. Obama won this twice in 2008 and 2012. Trump took it back in 2016. It's not really considered a swing state this year, so obviously that can be going right again. Now you have Nebraska's second district. Uh, in Nebraska, the electoral votes are split. Uh, each district allocating one electoral vote, and then the overall state as a whole giving two for whoever wins the popular vote. Um, Nebraska 2nd District has gone red uh, for the last five years. So one exception of that, I mean, for the last five election cycles, one exception of that was in 2008. And that was because the Obama campaign did heavy funding and spending there. 
because they were terrified of an electoral dr- draw at 269, 269. So obviously that can be going right again. So now let's take you to the state of New Hampshire. New Hampshire prior to this was considered a swing state. Um, it's not really considered one anymore. It's typically considered blue. Now, it at least leans blue. It's not really considered a swing state anymore. But if everything goes absolutely right for Trump, then it is very possible that New Hampshire very easily could be going red. So now let's take you to Virginia. Virginia, no matter how much the economy rebounds, no matter how well Trump does, even if it's heavy funding, this is a state that used to be considered a swing state. I'm sorry, but that I just have no chance at seeing it go red. I don't see that happening at all whatsoever. So that even with Trump's best case scenario, I picture this staying uh, blue. So now let's take you to Nevada, Colorado, New Mexico. These states sort of in the Sun Belt. Uh, Colorado is not really considered the Sun Belt, but are states that I picture that if Trump has a best case scenario where he does incredible and the country bounces back to its strongest ever, that in this best case scenario, I picture one of these three states to be going red. I doubt two or three of them would be going red. To me, that's highly, highly unlikely. Um, I picture then here that the best state that has a chance of going red here would be Nevada. So if any state in the, uh, these three states would flip, it would be Nevada, in my opinion. So we will give that to Trump and then leave the other two to Biden. I can say that it is almost certain that two of these three States of Nevada, Colorado, and New Mexico will be going blue. And now you have the final state of Minnesota. Minnesota is more of a is a blue state. However, its election in 2016 between Clinton and Trump was actually pretty close. Um, here, I expect, um, I mean, once again, for it to go blue. But some polls have shown that it is actually a very tight race. And obviously, if everything goes right, Minnesota can ever so slightly tilt red. I, I, I am not saying it will happen, but I could see it as a very slight possibility. Yeah, so this is my, this is not my election prediction. Let me make this absolutely clear. This is if every single thing goes right for President Trump the rest of the year. Everything goes right. The economy rebounds. COVID-19 goes away. Uh, things stabilize. Uh, this is his absolute best case scenario. I can tell you with almost certainty this map will not happen. However, it is not unlikely. For example, that's 326 electoral votes for the president. Let's go and look at the 2016 actual. All it, It's basically he has to just retain all the states that he won in 2016 and he's just flipping Nevada, Minnesota, and New Hampshire. That's all it is. But all these blue states, I don't picture going red. I There's a slight possibility that Colorado may go red. However, if Colorado goes red, then I think Nevada will go blue because I highly doubt three, two of these three states will be going red. But I say Nevada is most likely to go blue out of these three states. So yes, yeah, so this is what I think the absolute best possibility is for President Trump in the election. Um, obviously, he can give up some states, such as you know he can lose Minnesota, he can lose Wisconsin, he can go on and lose New Hampshire, he can lose both of the competitive second districts, um, he can lose Iowa, like how Obama won that in. Uh, 2008 and 2012. He can lose Indiana like how Obama won in 2008. He can lose in Nevada. And, you know, some uh, one poll showed that it's relatively tight race. He can lose in Utah. He can lose in all those states, and President Trump will still retain the presidency. Yeah, so, you know, so thank you for tuning in. Comment any video suggestions. 
that you want in the future, I will definitely make sure they will happen. So thank you.